Hi, Lisa here again with another haul. This time it's an Aldi's grocery haul. See what I picked up. Okay, I picked up another pack of 24 spring water. Because it's been so hot. And we've been just feeling like dehydrated all the time. So, i got to always pick up one or two packs every week. Okay, I did end up getting the Bella B again. I tend to like the Bella B. I don't know why. It doesn't have a strong flavor to it of anything. It's just simple. This was a 12 can, so I just brought the strawberry this time. They have different flavors, but I always pick up different flavors all the time. So I picked up the strawberry one for a while. So I picked that one up. Let's see how could we put this. I don't put it over here. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I picked up uh, some cranberry juice, 100% juice, and I picked up the 100% apple juice because we always have to have juice in the house for some reason because you can't just live on water. Okay, I ended up picking a 2% milk. getting some granola oil because we were oh low on the granola oil okay I ended up getting some condiments because I was out of condiments so we got some ketchup and this is the organic one and some yellow mustard ended up some barbecue sauce the original and some just a little small real mayonnaise okay I did get some hamburger dill pickles and I ended up getting the olives stuffed olives that's real mun man vanilla I'm sorry olives okay I got some, let's see, two cans of green beans. Oops, it feels like I ended up picking up the French style again. I always cut by the cut beans ones, and for some reason, I ended up getting those. Okay. I did get some, sorry. Okay, I did get some of the corn, sweet whole corn, corn, which I always have these in my pantry no matter what, as staples. Okay, I did get another can of the pinto beans. Two cans of the tuna in water. And a thing of tomato sauce. Okay, I got three packs of the corn tortillas. These are always staples in our house as well. Okay, I did get two of the frozen broccoli, broccoli florets, the steamed ones. And I also got the California Melody, which all these are staples in my house also. Okay, I did pick up some vanilla light ice cream. I did get a head of lettuce. I mean, I'm sorry, a cabbage. That's always staple in our house as well, instead of the lettuce, because the lettuce goes bad. So much faster than the cabbage, and the cabbage has more vitamins, anyways. And it doesn't, it doesn't go bad as long as you peel it. Whatever you need, you peel it and don't cut it until after you peeled what you need, and then you can cut it. But if you cut it, if you cut it, the whole while you're you have the whole thing like here, it will go bad, like the other half side that you cut. 
So if you peel it and then cut cut whatever you need, then you're good. And it does and it lasted a long time. So I got some tomatoes. Actually there was three, but I guess my husband must have got another I got one with his I don't know, tuna or something. Okay, I did pick up some flaxseed, the milled one. And I did get some chia seeds because I was running low on the chia seeds. <clears throat> These over here. Okay, as for the meats, I did get some pork. Now, I've been trying to cut out pork, but you know what? I decided to get some pork again, but I just ended up getting the lean, which I always get the lean pork anyways. And I ended up getting the roast turkey breasts for sandwich meats, because I really tried not to do the salami or ham and stuff like that, and I tried to stay more healthier choices. And I did get the grass-fed ground beef as well. And, I mean, no, this wasn't healthy, but my husband sometimes like, likes it in the morning. All right, with his, with his eggs. So this is ch just a chorizo. And I also got, huh, like a bag of cookies. I mean, they messed up when they were in the car, inside the bag. But it's okay, I just got them simple ones because my husband loves cookies too much. So I can't buy too many cookies. So I just brought this one just to fill my little cookie jar a little bit with something, you know, in case the kids come over, you always have to have some kind of cookie for the kids or whatever. So that was it for my haul. I ended up getting 36 items. I spent about $81.45 this week because I was trying to stay on my list so I didn't overdo it like I usually always do. And so I just got really what I needed. Of course, I picked up a few more things. I mean, I was supposed to save 50 but I... It just seems like 50, you can't buy anything anymore like you used to. So, so I kind of went up to 60, actually 70, maybe 70, and then I ended up spending maybe another five, five, ten dollars or something extra for a few extra stuff that wasn't on my list, which I try not to pick up things on my list. So I try to keep it more simple. But anyways, so that's it. So I spent eighty-one forty-five. Like I said, I, sp I picked up thirty-six items, and that was my all these grocery haul for this week. If you like these kinds of videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell to see upcoming videos that I post weekly. And thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye. Take care, and I'll see you in my next haul.